I think we can all agree chairs are a neat seat. Chairs started getting sat on since, you guessed it, ancient Egypt. These chairs looked pretty similar to a lot of modern chairs, other than they were a lot shorter, sometimes only about 10 inches off the ground. These didn't serve too much of a purpose if you wanted to get basic tasks done. But if you know anything about history, it's all about status. These chairs were highly decorated with ivory, ebony, and all sorts of fancy materials. While they didn't enable you to do much work of any sort, it didn't matter for the people sitting in them, because chairs started as an article of dignity for people in power, royalty, religion, and all the people socially above you. This still stands today in a way, because we kept the whole chair chairman status that's used in meetings of all sorts. Chairs popped up in Greece, China, and eventually everywhere else, leading us into the world we're sitting in today. But what is a chair? Is this a chair? Is this a chair? Is this a chair? This brings us to a much larger topic, seats. A chair has to be something to sit on specifically for one person, have legs, flat spot, and a backrest. Then a seat is literally a place to sit. This expands our list basically infinitely, adding the previously mentioned benches, stools, and basically anything you do or don't want to sit on. Cool announcements at the end? Stick around. So now I'm gonna rank them. Everyone knows that I'm the best at making decisions, so I'll decide which seats are good, bad, and in between that you could be sitting on. To start off, we got one of the most well-known, this guy. Dining room chairs are very regular. Everybody has sat on a variation of these at some point and had a very similar experience, sitting on a non-preferable hardwood slab, then leaning back onto some bars of wood that simply go against everything your spine has built up over your lifetime. I feel like vertical bars make a little more sense, which some have, but there's no way around it. Sitting on anything hard is at least kind of uncomfortable. They're definitely not preferable, but we sit in them all the time anyway. D tier. Now in Pokemon, there's evolutions from small forms into their final and most likely bigger form. Some have one evolution, some have two, but a whole lot have three, which also includes the generic wood seats line. The dining room chair is right here in the middle, but before that, we have the stool. This is usually just a chair with no back, sometimes it's round, but overall it gives you way less support, so it's definitely worse. But counter argument, these are really nice. Stools are higher up on the ground and they give you these little bars to rest your feet on. For whatever reason, this just feels so much nicer than just having your feet on the ground. And even if you're not about that, just dangling your legs feels real nice too. The stool gets B tier. Then we'll go to the other side and just stretch this guy into the bench. Benches are just long chairs that fit more than one person. You'll see these all over parks and public areas and are again made of very sturdy materials. And it's so sturdy that most of the time they're literally screwed into the ground. They will never be moved again. Now you might think more people is more fun or whatever, but these are so uncomfortable it's unbelievable. Then the length teases a nice nap time but most of the time they're not long enough and you can't fully lay down. Very mean. F tier. Next we got the folding chair, usually made out of full metal with a special ability. It folds. No way. Where it lacks in sturdiness and comfort, it makes up for with this revolutionary design. It can practically walk around with those joints, making it super portable. B tier. This has got to be the most mobile chair around. You're kidding! Next we got office chairs, gaming chairs, and those school rolling chairs. It rolls! These all feature some incredible wheels to roll around your office and such. Very useful for grabbing a pen on the other side of the desk, I guess. There's two main kinds of office chairs. Ones that do or don't have the head or neck rests. And the ones that do are in a heated argument with gaming chairs. They're essentially the same thing, one just fits your RGB gaming setup. Everything I've come across agrees that in general, office chairs are more comfortable overall. But gaming chairs give you that epic aesthetic if you're going for it. We'll go A tier and high B tier. Then without the headrest, these are obviously lower than the other one. We'll go like right there. Now these guys are completely up to you and your personality. In general, I'd say the comfiness is mid or low tier. And if you're just in class or a computer lab and doing your assignments like a good student, these might just have been average for you. But if you're like me, I'ma say it, S tier. See, I'm one to get distracted constantly. I'm thinking about different things. I'm looking all around and I'm definitely not paying attention as much as I should be. But these chairs are such a nice little stimulation that it made me focus severely better in some classes. And if you've ever rolled around the class or hallways, you know that these are insanely fun as well. Cool, now I doubt any of us have sat in a real throne, but honestly, 
They don't look that comfy. There's lots of variations, but most of the time they're just square on the bottom with armrests. Sometimes it's really bad with this awful backrest. Imagine sitting in that for an hour versus a beanbag. C tier. Speaking of, those beanbag seats are pretty cozy. They're very good to lay down in, close your eyes a little, maybe take a little nap. But honestly, they're not a super great seat. If your tasks can be done laying down, that's great, but sometimes you gotta be sitting up for eating or riding or whatever. This really just doesn't count as a seat very well. Like I said, so comfy to lay in, but it's not a very good seat. E tier. Then basically to the hardened form of this, the couch. These are classic. Nice cushy seat with a solid base, Easy to sit up, lay down, or cuddle up with the boys. S tier. B tier's looking a little crowded. We'll bump this guy up to its twin. Cool, now you might have thought that this was the fastest chair, and it probably is, but it is not the fastest seat. Welcome to our next category, transportation. Starting with the classic car seat. These are built to be comfortable for long periods of time, and I think they do a pretty good job of that. I usually don't even think about what I'm sitting on while driving, and I think that's nice. A tier. Then we got the kid car seats, which seriously look so comfortable. If I was that small in that little car basket, I would be thriving. I don't specifically remember myself, but I'm just gonna assume S tier. Bike seats would simply not be considered seats if they were separated from the bike. F tier. Trains and public transportation seats are a little interesting because they have a few variations. Those bench-ish guys aren't super good. It's not super comfortable, and it can be much less comfortable if you're sitting around the wrong people. D tier. Next is these guys, which is an improvement. We'll just go with C tier. Then we got these kind of guys, which I think are actually pretty good. Much better for a long ride, and a lot of the time they got little tables and stuff. We'll go A tier. Now we've got plane seats. These are not good. This is a common opinion, but I double hate it. I'm, I'm fairly tall, tall and sitting in these is not possible by regular standards. I gotta completely scrunch up unless I get lucky and I get the aisle. I can stretch out just a little bit there, but I have to keep coming back because everyone is walking down the aisles. My knees hurt thinking about it. The plane is crashing all the way to the ground. Actually, what about the ground? Let's get into some bonus seats. The ground is totally hit or miss for people, but for real, sometimes it goes hard. If you're sitting on the ground, it's for a reason. Whether you're super exhausted or messing around with friends, it feels fun or chill. I'm not using that picture, actually. Maybe I am. <laughs> I feel like it's actually a pretty solid A tier. We'll go just above the train. Next, we got the sofa. These are classic. Nice cushy seat with a solid base. Easy to sit up, lay down, or cuddle up with the boys. S tier. And last, we got saddle. This totally depends on the animal and if you know what you're doing. If you're super in tune with nature and taming wild beasts, or if you're just a horse girl or guy or whatever, I bet it could get up to something like B tier, maybe? However, I am not good at that, and it has been F tier at least once. We'll just stretch it out. Sweet, guys. Well, I'm glad you now have the guidance to sit on the best seats around. I already know you're gonna totally agree with the facts I laid out, but feel free to tell me you agree in the comments. And speaking of chairs, my song has a chair in it. That's right, I released a song with the famous dining room chair, and I'm very happy with it. S tier. I shot the music video in this very chair, and there's another song. Go check out the music videos in the end screen or the description, and stream them everywhere. Also, I have a Discord now. I've gotten a lot of requests to do this, and I finally got around to it. We already have 400 members. I've genuinely had a good time talking on there, so you better join. And of course, for both of my channels, subscribe.